Hey, good morning on this Columbus Day. It's Monday. Doug Phillips here with you from the Sun Sentinel Newsroom. That's a mixed bag today for holiday uh, openings and closings on Columbus Day. Suffice it to say, schools are open uh, across South Florida for the most part. Uh, no U.S. mail delivery. Uh, that was a bit of a rough start to the Monday drive for uh, some commuters in Broward County. There were a number of traffic signals uh, were malfunctioning for some reason or another. We're checking into the, the cause of that. Uh, however, photojournalist uh, Joe Cavretta was uh, out there this morning, saw what was happening. We have him on the cell phone. Uh, Joe, what were you seeing? Well, uh, I was trying to make it downtown, and uh, it seemed like all of the lights were stuck. They were stuck red going north and south, and they were stuck green going east and west. So at Andrews, Prospect, and Commercial, and, uh, and uh, uh, I couldn't get anywhere. So there were a lot of people making U-turns. And the most frightening thing I saw was school buses lined up like six deep. And, that, you know, just basically trying to dart across six lanes of traffic against the light, you know, full of kids. Well, we'll be looking into that. And uh, Joe has sent the pictures that will be posted at sunsentinel.com. Thanks there, Joe. Uh, today's always the, uh, also the 16th birthday of Michael Brewer. Uh, but tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of the attack in which police say a group of teens in Deerfield Beach set Michael on fire. Uh, our Rafael Almeida has been writing about Brewer's progress and struggle at SunSentinel.com. And there's a birthday celebration for him today in Wilton Manors. Also today, it's a quick trip to South Florida for President Barack Obama, scheduled to attend a Democratic fundraiser in Coral Gables. It will mainly focus on the tightening race between incumbent Democratic Congressman uh, um, Ron Klein of Boca Raton and his challenger, Alan West. Uh, so we'll have updates at SunSentinel.com. And also we'll be following that in the SunSentinel.